Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, and we are headed out to the coolest place this morning. Okay, so something weird is happening. I don't know. Last weekend, we came home, and we are just minding our own business, and I walked into the living room, and I found these things sitting on the ottoman. They're just sitting there. I don't know if you can see what it is. It's just a little crocheted guardian angel in a case. A purple one and a green one. And they were just sitting on the ottoman. So I said to the girls, do you know whose these are? Are they yours? Like, where do we get them? And they're like, oh, I've never seen them before. And I was like, oh, I've never seen them before. Sam didn't know anything about them, didn't talk about them. And today he came walking out of the dining room and he's like, where did we get these from? I found three guardian angels and this is probably last week on one of the horse barns. And I was like, on one of the toy going? horse barns? Yeah, so where Did you put it there? Did you put it there? Is it weird? So now we have three more, and there's five of them. One for each I of us in our house. One. So everybody's picking them. Gabby and I are gonna have purple, Sophie's having my favorite white one, and Ooh. Dad's having the green Wait, one. there's a white? Yep, yeah, she already picked it. Oh, cool, it's gonna get dirty. So anyway, being the spiritual minded person that I am, I feel like God's trying to tell us something. There are guardian angels with us. Hopefully it's not a bad thing. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that weird? Do you feel better having a, knowing that your guardian angel is there watching over you? Sometimes I can feel it petting me. <laughs> yeah. Like remember a long time ago? No, I don't remember, but that's cool. Feel what? Her guardian angel petting her. <laughs> yes! You guys might think that's a crazy story. A long time ago, I had just had my third baby and I just had my tubes tied so I've never had another baby. And I was really sad at home. I didn't have a husband and I just was laying in my bed and I had tears running down my face because I knew that I was never gonna have a daughter and it really broke my heart to think that I was never, I knew I was never gonna have a daughter. And I felt something and it felt like somebody was pushing my hair out of my, just like doing this to me and I was half asleep and I looked up and I swear I saw my grandmother sitting on the side of my bed and her hand was brushing my hair and then I fell asleep. It was like a split second thing and so who knows if I was dreaming or what happened but yeah, I can oh, relate, to, I can relate, to, relate to you, Gabby. You say it's creepy? creepy. If they were hiding me in the shop that I said, then I would say keep going. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here early 9.30 in the morning. Can you guess where we are? We got the cousin, we got one of our cousins with us today. Tell us, where are we? Greenhawk! Yeah. We're at Greenhawk, but we're not here to shop. We're here because it's a fun day today. So the girls are gonna get to have a really fun day and they're gonna be able to paint and create a briar. Are you guys excited? I've done just, that before. This way you introduced your cousin. Oh, look at this. It's so cute. All these signs. So this is our cousin Grayson, and she's the same age as Gabby. Right? Stand next to each other. That's how tall Gabby is compared <laughs> to her cousin, and they're only six months apart. Crazy, right? Yeah. And Grayson's tall for her age. Are you tall for your age? I don't know. You're not short. Let's go in before we freeze. <laughs> There's that horse. Look at it. I'm loving orange. Isn't it nice? Good morning. Good morning. I like that western saddle up there too. Look at that saddle. It's I'm only. Mommy! Oh, oh, you guys, I want one of these to put my chihuahuas on my horse. But look at this saddle, but it's it's cheap. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's only, it's, so it's obviously synthetic. But I like it. But it feels really cheap. Oh, hunks and horses. Yeah, I mean this before. Oh, so this is a Western saddle with no horn. It's an Australian one. From Australia, an Australian one. And it's only $600. That's nice. Yeah, that's kind of nice, but I like a horn. But maybe I don't need a horn. Do you need a horn for I don't know. Yeah, it looks super comfy. The girls have already taken off on me and we're just looking at saddles because saddles are my passion now. They have a lick it, um, these are for the lick it that. Oh, okay, that's what we want to get, yeah. like tongue twister for your But I think a salt lick would be better. Let's go look at a salt lick. Wow, so this is for the fun day. I just want to. Oh. That's the licket 
2022. Oh, okay. Mom, you like, you like that one? one? Yeah, we know a horse that looks sort of like that at our barn, and we love him. He actually looks more like this, the brown one. So this is the treat section, it looks like. Let's see if we can find a salt lick, you guys. So this is the apple and the banana one, and carrot one. I'd like to try that one. So uh, they get the name put in for a draw for a big briar horse. Is this where you guys are sitting? Yeah. Put your coats then. You guys should look at the briar over there and then like get ideas. So they took over this whole table here. You guys like this color? Looks different in, on the thing. It's getting packed in here, you guys. One thing I love about Greenhawk is that they have all these special package deals here. We're looking at all these brushes. But if you wanted to pick um, a kit, so you could get for $29.99, you could get a basket and then you could pick all of these things in the whatever color you want. Or you could get a deluxe grooming package for $100 and get one of these boxes. Or you could get a braiding package for 16 bucks. Or you could get the bag for 39 with all this stuff. So that's such a good deal. And they have uh, cookie cutters here. So cool, gingerbread horse. Treats and snacks. Sophie looks so small in that chair. So this is the horse that you got? Let's see, what kind of horse is it? Hold this it still. Is <gasps> I want to do the Frisian. What horse did you get? I don't know. You guys all got the same horse. Did you all get the... Grayson, what kind did you get? I think she got a dressage horse. That reminds me of our horse a little. believe you get to spend the day in a Greenhawk. Like, it's super cool that we get to shop. It's almost Christmas time. We get to buy the stuff we want while the kids are busy. Out of all these saddles, this is the one I like the best. I just like the look of this one better. I like the leather seat. And I like it's kind of plain. Opposed to this one that's got the suede seat. I don't like that. Sam likes this one. But how would I ever get off of this one? Wow, it looks good. Grayson made an app brown Appaloosa. Is your Appaloosa? Don't show them mine. And Gabby's doing a paint, and it looks super cool too. Don't show them mine. Really cute. I have to do the hood and tail. So right now I'm doing So if you guys don't know this about Gabby, she is a perfectionist and she'll take five hours to do something if that's how long it takes to get it exactly the way she wants, right? Right. And Sophie, you're like mom. You just wanna do it and get it done, right? All right, you guys, let's see your horses. You guys got them? Put them up there, let's see. Sophie did a black one. If you like mine, send, mine, send me candy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, if you like mine, send me. And then Grayson did a, a pink with gold spots. Cool. They all look awesome. The last time we painted those were a couple of years ago, and I can tell you that the girls have improved drastically. Tax store number two for today. Bridal path. Last time we were at this store, they had a pink horse. Now they have a, or they had a purple blanket on her. Okay, so these are the... <gasps> There's one in her size. No tax sale. Please, no tax. Did you guys know that my birthday is on Black Friday? This store is getting okay, ready for its Black Friday sales. We're gonna come out on Black Friday, like for sure. But everything in this store is on sale. Plus, there's no tax. I just got my saddle on for a trail ride. You just got your saddle on for a trail ride? No, I did for a Ready for a trail ride? I need to find myself a Western saddle. Western. You like it? Do you wish you do you want to ride horses, Grayson? You do want to ride horses? That's super cool. 
So we're looking for a blanket for Sabrina, a winter blanket. And I'm literally beginning to understand horse stuff so much better. Like before when we would come and look at blankets, I'd be like, it's all Chinese to me. I don't get any of this. But now the lady's talking to me and I get what she's saying. And I love this whole process of learning about this stuff. So Sabrina wears a size 78 and basically there's nothing in the store in her size. It must be the most popular size because everything is not her size. So all this shopping for horse stuff is so overwhelming. Like I have to go to the store, see what I, I like, see what I can figure out. And then I have to go home and I have to either talk to Fiona or I have to research it. And then I have to come back and I have to get it. Or I have to buy it and then try it on and then bring it back if it doesn't fit. And this store, every time we come to this store, the lady here is amazing and things make more sense to me here. I really like this store. It's called uh, Bridal Path. So the girls are playing. And I'm looking at saddles again. Like, I think I could go saddle shopping every day. So I love this one. It's probably not even my size. I know you have to fit it to the horse. I'm just looking at saddles to see, get an idea of what kind I like. But I really like this one, Textan. And it is $2,349. Will you give me $2,349? Sure. <laughs> you like that one? Do you like Western saddles better than English now? Are you converting to Western? I want to do raining. You want to try raining? So the thing I don't like about that saddle is I don't like the suede seat. Honestly, who am I kidding though? If Sam bought me any saddle, I'd probably be happy with it. bridal path that we were just at they have a sale going all week and then they have their black friday sale on friday so we are definitely going to go back on friday i like all of the things that they i found at that store that would probably be better for us if you have a favorite equine um, website that you shop from i'd love you to leave the link in the comments below because we are in full christmas shopping mode aren't we sam no Anyway, if you do have a good website that you think we would benefit from, please feel free to leave the link in the comments below. All right, so we decided to go out to our favorite burger joint and have a burger, and the girls are playing with their new Briar toys. Are they actually Briar models, or are they just specific? They're Briar stable mates. They're Briar stable mates? This is going to be super cool. This is Splash. She's mine. This Pink is horse. Midnight Blue. Midnight Blue. And he has a sponsor. <laughs> Chloe. This is Chloe. Hello. Today we got a letter from Ellie and she has her own channel. Her channel is Ellie Anna XOX. And she's 11 years old, and she rides buses. We also got a letter from Maddie, and these are the horses that she rides. This is Rudy. He has a 16-hand quarter horse gelding. She's the horse he leases. Uh, this is Shooter. He's a 16-2-hand OTT, OTTB gelding. And this is Toby, a 15-2 hand pony. He's great under saddle, but when being taken on the outdoor riding, he tends to take off down the street. Not good. <laughs> That's funny. This is to me, to Gabby from Danielle. She doesn't own a horse because she doesn't like poop. Thanks, Danielle. It is so cold, you guys. I am freezing. I got a sweater on and I need a blanket. Sophie's got my blanket over there. Toby's got a shirt on. 
He's got a little paw Here's print shirt on. It is time to break out the doggy blankets, the doggy shirts, isn't it? Time to break them out. Say hi, Tokes. Say hi. You guys, our little dogs, all three of our little dogs, weigh 10 bat pounds combined. Cookie weighs five pounds, Macy weighs three pounds, and Toby weighs two pounds. So all three of them together are like one little tiny dog. That's how little they are. I could carry them all in like your literally one arm. Yeah, I can do that too. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, that is the cutest picture with the tree behind you. So Macy, Toby, Cookie. Cookie, <laughs> cookie. Cookie's like, I'm so embarrassed. Don't let anybody see this happening. <laughs> cookie. <laughs> cookie is always awkward like that. <laughs> That's what happened to her. Oh, probably because her body's turned. Here, hold him for a second. Her body was turned. <laughs> <laughs> cookie is so awkward. She's always been that her way her whole entire life. She's just an awkward girl. So awkward. Anyway, we had a really great day today. We bought something so super fun for Sabrina and we're gonna take it to the barn and tomorrow for her. So make sure you tune in tomorrow so that you guys can see what we bought for Sabrina. Anyway, we're gonna do comment of the day. There were so many good comments today um, all about join up and I'm gonna share with you what we decided about it tomorrow. So many educated opinions and um, I really appreciate you guys sending them to all. Comment of the day goes to Catanical. And I know I've shared, I've used comments from her before. Um, she says that this video made me so happy. To everyone saying Sophie shouldn't have cantered without Fiona being present, the first time was clearly not intentional. But regardless, Fiona couldn't have done anything more than Gabby did in stopping the canter when Sophia started to feel unbalanced. And of course, it wasn't perfect. Nobody's first canter ever is. I believe it was really good start. Very positive with plenty of support from her family and she clearly had a great time and was proud of herself. It doesn't get much better than that, than when you're starting out. In future, make sure one of you remembers to remind Sophia to sit right back in the Ooh. saddle with her heels pushed down in the stirrups. Don't start learning to canter in a light seat because she will most definitely end up falling out over Sabrina's shoulder, going around corners, or if she happened to spook a little at something. Sophia doesn't yet have the independent balance to be cantering in light seat, but it will come with practice. For now, just sit deep and enjoy. The reason that got Sophie did her canter in, in light, light seat, seat is because that's how Gabby learned yeah. and Gabby found it really beneficial and really easier for her to learn that way, right? Yeah, it was so easier. All I had to do was just squeeze Mare a tiny bit in the two point and then she just cantered a whole wall. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I cantered that day. Yeah, it, Mom, it's just a Dad, start. Dad, Sophie didn't catch on camera and they didn't see. We Only missed Gabby's, yeah. We missed Gabby's first canter, but we didn't miss Sophie's. Anyway, thanks so much for your comment. It meant a lot to us. All of your no, comments meant a lot to us. We didn't miss Nick's first canter. Yeah, we didn't miss Nick's first canter. Just your first canter, but yeah. sure, Dad will catch my first canter on camera. Yeah, it's gonna be a year. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. And your first no. ball. Yeah, I am my and first, first ball. ball which All right. you'll break a bone. Yeah, probably. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.